All right, so welcome to lesson 2.5. We're simplifying more difficult fractions today. Start with these. So 30 and 36 are both on the sixth times table. So that simplifies to 5 sixth. Those are both on the four times table. That also simplifies to 5 sixths. Those are, oops, no, they're not on the six times table. They're on the eight times table. They also simplify to 5 sixths. I don't think this last one, though, simplifies to 5 sixths. I think maybe I meant it to, but I messed up. Let's see. So this is 10. 130 divided by 12 is a 10 elevenths, right? The one that would simplify to 5 sixths would be this one, right? That would be 10 twelfths. And notice 12 was not the greatest common divisor. In fact, the greatest common divisor of this one would be 24, right? Notice that I went twice with 12 and 2, and the greatest common divisor is 12 times 2. That is the way it works if you go twice. All right, so, so we're going to be simplifying more difficult fractions. And so these are all intended to be a little tricky. So let's see if I trick you or not. All right, well, those both look like they're on the 6 times table. And 24 divided by 6 is 4. 54 divided by 6 is 9. Okay, so that was 4 ninths. But notice, if you picked, say, 3, right, 24 divided by 3 is 8. 54 divided by 3 is 18. You could not leave it that way. You would have to go again, right? Let's try another one. All right, we're at 36, 66. Well, they're both on the 6. So this one isn't particularly tricky. So this one is 6 elevenths. Now, what the, this screen is about is often when it's the 6 times table, the greatest common divisor is 6, I get a lot of 2s or 3s, right? Right, 36 and 66 are both even numbers, right? You might have, someone might have picked 2. And I think that's 18 33rds. The problem with that is you can go again, right? Because 18 and 33 are both on the six times table. All right, so notice that two times three is six. All right, so on the homework, be careful. I'm trying to pick ones that many people mess up. If you got those, good. All right, so try all these. Now remember to check your work. All of these are intended to be somewhat tricky. All right, so 24 and 56, I think they're both on the 8 times table. Yeah, 24 divided by 3, 3 sevenths, all right? So that worked. But a lot of people will pick something else for that. Let's try this one. What's this one? Well, let's try 8. So 48 divided by 8 is 6. Ah, there's our first really tricky one, right? 6 ninths is not the right answer. Why isn't it? because you can go again and the real answer is two-thirds all right so what was the greatest common divisor there it was 24 right that's a really hard one to see but it turns out that 24 goes into 48 twice and 24 goes into 72 three times i wouldn't even do it this way i would do it this way the way i did it on the top you just saw me do it and so you have to be careful of that you cannot ever stop at six ninths all right keep going all right, so this is a mixed number. You do it the same way. Well, those are both on the 6, but they're also on one that's bigger. What's the bigger one? Yeah, they're both on the 12. So when you get to do these, by the way, don't forget the 9. I do write that 9 for the mixed number before you do anything else. 24 divided by 12 is 2. 60 divided by 12 is 5. It's 9 and 2 fifths. I guarantee you I'll get 2 fifths for ones like this on the homework because people forget the 9. Now, why is this one here? Why is this one considered harder? Because a lot of people pick six, right? And they get nine and four tenths. We can't, four tenths, even numbers. Notice in every answer, one of the numbers, at least one of the numbers, they both can be, is odd, always. Because you have two even numbers, you can divide by two, right? Top and bottom. So that will never have a fraction with two even numbers in it, like two tenths, 
will never be a right answer in math. It's at least one of those numbers has to be odd. What's this one? Oh, those are both numbers on the 12 times table. That's why this one is here. A lot of, I, we did this already, but a lot of people forget that 11 times 12 is 132. All right, try these. Remember, they're all intentionally tricky. All right, so you see those zeros? You should be thinking 10. But the problem is you get 6 eighths. So those are even numbers. You can't leave it. It's 3 fourths. All right, so what was the greatest common divisor here? The greatest common divisor was 20. If you notice that, you get to go right to the answer. But you can do it either way on the homework. Okay, it's fine. So I'm suspecting the 10 is a trap here. Yeah, it is. It's 6 ninths. It's not 6 ninths. All right, you got to go again. Oh, it's 2 thirds. So what was the greatest common divisor? Well, it's 3 times 10. You can always work backwards to figure out which what it must be. Right? It's 10 times 3. That was the one that will make 2 thirds. 30 was the greatest common divisor. All right. So now, right, if you divide these by 10, by the way, you can actually just cross out these zeros. Could have done that, right? Notice that happens. But you get 15 twentieths. And we go again, and the real answer is 3 fourths, right? So what was the greatest common divisor here? Well, the greatest common divisor was 50, right? Now, I would suspect that a lot of people would have picked 25 here maybe, right? But you get four quarters is, uh, six quarters is $1.50, eight quarters is $2 that way. So you get three-fourths. But the real greatest common divisor here was 50, a hard one to see if you've never seen that before. All right, we're at practice. Do all those. Uh-oh, I got four eighths. Oops, and I almost messed up again. Four eighths is one half, right? We said you got to be able to look at a fraction and know it's one half, right? What was the greatest common divisor here? Four times eight, 32, right? 32 is half of 64. If you could just see that 32 is half of 64, you can go right to one half. I'm just going to cross out these zeros, and then it's 7 fourteenths, but 7 fourteenths is no good. Oh, this is another one half, right? Because 70 is half of 140. Let's see what go. Uh oh, let's see. This one, I'm going to, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. All right, let's try two. So they're both even numbers. That's 36. And two goes into 84. How many times? It goes four. And then we get a four. And it goes 42. Ah. Oh, these are both on the 12 times table, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. So I erase. 72 divided by 12 is 6. 84 divided by 12 is 7. So it's 6 sevenths. And that's what's going to happen to you. All right, I'm going to write this 7 in before I do any work here. And then these 48 is on the 8 times table. So is this one. 48 divided by 8 is 6. 64 divided by 8 is 8. Uh-oh, 7 and 6 eighths. i got to go again. So it's 7 and 3 fourths. So what was the greatest common divisor? Oh, it was 16. Well, I, I, even Mr. Ben doesn't have his 16 times table memorized okay so you can do it that way do both of those well 300 is half of 600 all right so that means this must be one half 2000 is half of 4000 both of those are equal they are both equal to each other and they are both equal to one half